a fraud. Uh, and it was a fraud when the when the uh, administration, the I call it the Kamala, because I don't even know who our president is anymore. Where is this guy? They took it away. This was a an overthrow of the president of the United States. This was a coup. He got 14, think of it. He got 14 million votes. She got no votes. She was the first one that lost, and now I'm running against her. They went in. I was 19 points up in the poll. I saw their poll. They went up after the debate with Biden. I have debates with everybody. But the first debate, we had two debates. We didn't have one. First, I had Biden, and he was 19 to 21 down. And they went, that's when they went, and they said, you can't win. You're going to get out. And he said, no, I'm not. I'm not going to get out which was his right to say. They said, well, if you don't get out, we're going to execute the 25th Amendment. And he said, like I said, I'm going to get out. And he hates her beyond any. I think he hates her probably almost as much as he hates me. I think he still hates me a little bit more. But he hates her. He hates her. He hates what she did. And, you know, when they talk about democracy, well, that's not democracy. He had 14 million votes. She had none. And she was the first one out of the 22 people or so that ran as a Democrat she never made it to Iowa, first state. She never made it to Iowa. She was the first one out, and now she's running. So you tell me how that works. They wanted to be politically correct, that's all. But we're not going to let her destroy our country. In fact, the David Muir character, he's lost so much respect. Everyone's talking about him. He's a joke. And ABC News is a joke, too. But most of the fake news is pretty much of a joke. He said that uh, the FBI, and he didn't know this, I guess, at the time. He probably did. But the numbers and the cities that weren't included in those numbers were Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, New Orleans, and many others of similar crime numbers. In other words, so they didn't include the worst crime Numbers in the country, look at those numbers. Chicago's not included. Los Angeles not included. So they could say the numbers are flat, but they didn't include the big boys. And that's a fraud on the public. And as I said, it was a fraud also, just like with the eight. So it's 818,000 jobs that they said existed that didn't exist. And they thought they could hold the number off until after the election, any time after November 5th. But that didn't work out because they had a whistleblower that released the numbers. And then you have Kamala's claim that she worked at McDonald's. She never worked at McDonald's. It's a lie. They went in, they investigated it, and the fake news won't report that. They won't report it. The only one that reported it was Fox, but the fake news won't. She never worked at McDonald's. She said she stood over those French fries when they were being fried, and it was so tough work. Such, such She never worked there. She's a liar. She's a liar. But the fake news ought to report she's a liar, because that sounds like a little thing, but it's a big thing, because it tells you they lie. They lie about everything. They lie about statements on the military. Nobody loves the military more than me. She got up today. She said things that were just lies. She's just made up. What's bad for Trump? Oh, this would be Say something bad about the military. Oh, he said bad about the military. Just like McDonald's, a total lie. It's the way they do it. And her, her VP choice, I think, will go down as a, a catastrophic choice. Now, maybe I'll be wrong. I'll let you know on November 6th. But I can't believe that that guy is an asset.